by four and I apologize already for how late this video is coming out today but that is what happens when you have to do your DIY two times over because the first version was absolutely horrible uh, I made a few mistakes and I hated the way that it looked I will show that to you so you don't make the same mistakes but now I've got a great new lampshade that kind of has like a 70s vibe to it and honestly I just couldn't go forward with showing you the last project as my DIY for this week because if I don't like something I don't want to put it on my channel so that is why I have spent all day literally doing this because yes this project takes hours to do but I'm really quite happy with how it turned out so I will show you the mistakes I made and how to do it properly you know I love to go to the thrift store. It's often where I go to get items for my DIYs and just inspiration on what to transform different objects into. And this Friday is actually National Thrift Shop Day. I found that out earlier this week and I thought I have to do a thrift store related DIY. So I actually picked up all the items that I'm using today from my local Value Village. Now this is not sponsored or anything, but I absolutely would encourage you to go to your local thrift store and shop there. I mean, the clothing's cheaper, it's great to use, reused, and uh, you can really get some good finds there in the decor section as well. So today I am going to make a new lampshade. So I'm actually just using an old lampshade. Pick this up at the thrift store. They are always there in all different shapes and sizes. I'm just going to be using the wire metal inside of this. So this was $2.99 and then I also picked up this string. They have a lot of different sewing um, crafts and like material section. I believe this yarn is typically used for what my grandmother used to use when she made her doilies. Um, it's just kind of like thin string and I kind of liked it because it was colored often it's usually just white. And that's pretty much all we're going to be using today to make a way cooler lampshade. It doesn't have a lot of technique involved in it, but it is going to take a little while to put together, so let's get started. So I started by cutting out the wire of my lampshade with the X-Acto knife. Easy to do, but the problem is, is that these two rings aren't attached, and that is key for this project. I also replaced the bottom ring with a smaller ring, but this is the brilliant apparatus that I came up with. A wine bottle to hold the top portion and my boyfriend to hold the bottom ring and bless him for doing this because he did so for a couple of hours. It was such a horrible idea and clearly did not work out. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I am redoing this DIY. This is kind of the end result that I had and if you think that looks cool, that's cool with you, but this is not the idea I had envisioned whatsoever. Um, I opted to kind of do it like loosely because this wasn't going as tight as I wanted. Ideally what you need is, well, you need to have wire connecting these two rings here. I thought that it would be heavy enough to pull it down straight and tight, but it's not. So I am going to redo this plan. There are a couple of different ways you could probably approach this. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use something that I picked up at the dollar store, which is um, if you want to make beer butt chicken, uh, I saw this and I thought that is exactly what I need in order to be able to make this the way that I want it. So I uh, picked that up for two bucks and I'm going to repurpose this top ring, cut everything off and we're going to redo this and it's going to take forever. <laughs> So what I would suggest if you are going to be doing this for yourself, try and find a lampshade that actually has, um, it wouldn't quite be like this because there would be another ring at the top, but be connected, the two rings be connected by really stiff, sturdy, strong metal pieces. I didn't think that if I, I, I added two, the two circles with the metal pieces myself that it would stay very well, but this is another sturdy piece and uh, it's going to be perfect for the new shape that I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is attach these two pieces together. This bulb will fit up in through here and the rest of my light will screw into the top of that and that will actually hold it in place and um, it will all be covered. Hope that makes sense. And then you're just going to want to make sure that you fasten that together with some wire so that it's nice and sturdy and you can move on to the next step.
Okay, so as you can see, this version is so much better than the last version that I did, but I thought that I would add maybe a little bit of the green into it, uh, because I could. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I've been doing uh, this technique. When the string is done, actually before I do all of that, I think the best way to do this is by kind of making a little ball. So to do that, it does take a little while, but it will help you in the process in the long run. If you're wondering how long this is gonna take you, um, hours, I have watched an entire movie and just completed this, so um, it does take a long time. So when connecting my strings, I just make sure that I had a white end and a white end. And this is how I did it, just a simple snip. You can tie these two strands together and I'll show you how I've been hiding the knots along the way. So, you see that that's where the knot's gonna land. We want that to be behind. So you can wrap it around there and then I'm just gonna feed that in through here and underneath. So this will get hidden, but the strand is going behind these two rods. And when I come back up over top, it's gonna go over top of this knot and I'll trim those edges and it will get better. Or it will look better. Otherwise, you're just going back and forth. So obviously because this end is a lot smaller, everything is a lot tighter at this end and a little more loose up at the top here, um, but still quite tight together to give the look that I have going on here. And I just found that this is the easiest way to string it. So this is the final project, uh, yes it took forever, and uh, just so you know kind of how you could hang it, you could actually do this uh, both ways because uh, the center piece in here, it really just depends, the light bulb fits in the bottom or you can put it on the top and that center piece will hold it to the uh, pigtail that I have for the other piece and just kind of Basically, you would screw in your light bulb on one end and it would go on the other piece and it holds it in place. So whatever way you want to hang it, you can do that. Uh, depends on, I guess, how you make yours, but I'm going to go style it now. to do something like this or are you thinking like oh hell no you're crazy for even attempting to do this now I have no idea where you'd actually be able to buy something like this but I decided to make it because I've seen it online and I figured you can kind of customize it to your own colors and everything and uh, didn't think it would take me this long to make to be honest I am happy with the final project it kind of has like a a bit of a 70s vibe to it I feel like at least my sister was kind of like that looks retro but uh, I like it and I'd love to know what you think about this project you can uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave any comments down below otherwise you know the drill I want to see your DIYs at home uh, I don't have a lot of people ever send me stuff so I really hope that that starts to kind of start rolling in. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. Just tag me in any of your DIY photos so I can check them out and uh, have a great day. <laughs> this has been a long day so I will talk to you next Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!